So I'll just go briefly through the things that I have not mentioned before that are new. Uh, the first is the approach that we take to having a small window. Uh, thanks going to Raul for figuring a lot of this out. Um, when there's a small window, we de-emphasize the web view, the browser on the right. So you can see it there, but it's pretty tiny. And what happens is as you select things, um, the pages actually load on the right. You can't really tell. And the way to see them is to hover your cursor over the web view, and then you get the full page. It's still fairly small because it's a fairly small window, but it does work. And then when you hover back over the main table of contents, the web view disappears to the right. Um, it's obviously not as satisfying an experience as the full screen. If you've got a large enough display to support the full screen, the full window, uh, but it does seem to work pretty well. Um, the big news is I finally, I fought a rear guard action with mostly with myself, I guess, uh, but I've finally given up on hover as a selection mechanism. The arrangement of the various labels simply makes it impracticable, I think, to, to, to use hover for selection. So now you can hover as much as you want and nothing will happen. You really do have to click in order to load the corresponding page. Um, bars, I had been using bars to indicate the number of pages associated with a category, uh, horizontal bars. So basically that any list was uh, also a bar chart which is great in theory, uh, as a practical matter, it's never really entirely clear what you should normalize a bar's length to. So any on any given list, the length of a bar would mean something different from what it meant on some other list, depending on what the maximum number of items was in, that in the various lists. So I gave up on that and now there are just integers. Um, so fax N3 has 26 pages associated with it. J Playground N1 has one page associated with it. Uh, it's still graphical in the sense that, you know, laying out using a positional notation is basically a logarithmic uh, graph. So 108 is obviously bigger than one, but it's, it's a far cry from the original bars. Uh, and I guess the last point is, and again, thanks to Rule for pointing this out, some labels are just too wide. Um, it happens in lists sometimes. So for example, if you look at uh, other array languages, C6 or running J Playground P1, when a label is too wide for the uh, available real estate, it'll actually float when you hover over it. And that's maybe clearer in something like this, where essays, tacit expressions, comments doesn't fit, uh, so it floats when you hover over it similarly for all of these labels. And if a label is over on the far right, such as vocabulary, gerunds, and, uh, there isn't enough space or real estate to the right to show it, so it'll actually shift to the left, so it floats out to the left. Um, so we, we really try to make labels visible as long as you're hovering on them, uh, even if they turn out to be very long and uh, inconveniently placed. And that's it. That's all. Are there any questions about any of that? Moment. All right. I have so, I have one. Yeah, please. Um, you don't I don't think you need that green strip anymore on your on your leftmost. That would be great. Why not? Well, because what we d put that there was so that you had a white strip you could move up and down without scrolling. Yeah. But now with the with clicking, you don't need to worry about that, do you? Ah, uh, I think I would agree with Stephen or Stephen would agree with me. Uh, he brought up Fitz Law in one of the videos that you made with him. Yeah. And this is something that I, I, I had had reservations about way back when, before we started working with him and still do. And that is that if you're moving and as a result of you moving, your target is moving, that's badness. Uh, that renders Fitz Law more complicated. And okay. that's bad. Yeah. So yeah. you really 
do want to be able to move your cursor without moving your target. Uh, it's it's you know okay when the list is not too terribly compressed. It becomes much more problematic. It becomes more problematic the more compressed the list is. And that would be so, a smaller screen then. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. So I don't I don't love the green stripe. I put the uh, cursor hand back in. Yeah, and it disappeared for a while. I'm not actually sure why. I don't know why I took that out, but I put it back. Um, and that's I think good. But I think the green stripe still needs to be there as a clue uh, as to you know that, that, that something is different about the left half versus the right half of the list and and that would be because if you had something else within the within the group that's highlighted now expanded you wanted to get to it it's harder to get to it if it's moving but the thing it's a i a little trickier it it's, is I, yeah i understand that but the thing i think about it is how often like when I'm moving up and down, I'm just looking to what I'm hovering on. Sure. But I mean, I'm sitting on facts yeah. N3. And if I want to go to developers D, that's a certain distance. And I've developed an intuition about how far I have to move my index yeah. finger yeah, on yeah. the touchpad in order to get there. And if I do that, you know, developers was here. But yeah. as a result of my moving downwards, it's shifted upwards. Yeah, yeah. So, if your target is moving in response to your movements, that's not good. Yeah, yeah. You no, I get, I get the for that not to happen. It's it's funny how though in my head when I'm when I'm using it up and down, and and that this may be because I'm more comfortable with it. I I'm not thinking of it that way. I'm not thinking of trying to go to a fixed target. I'm trying to get. I'm thinking of the red bars as a fixed target, I suppose. I'm trying to put them over where I want in this expanding, changing, floating window, right? Right. And is it easier to do that uh, on the right side of the list or the left side of the list? I think I, I think you're right with, with Fitt's law that it actually probably is, is easier if my whole list was expanded, but right. because my my list is changing as well, I think of it a different way. I, I, I I'd love to talk to Stephen about it and see what he what he says yeah. about that because I, I I can see where there's a mismatch in, in in the way of thinking about it. But for some reason in my head, when I'm sliding that whole window up and down, it feels like that's what I'm really doing. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try point out two things here. One is that if you're on the right hand side and you go out of the expanded window, um, it's not necessarily a useful experience. On, on the, I mean, on the left hand side, but on the right hand side of the of the most left hand most column, when you're outside of the green, if you if you now now, now go up to the, like there the top, yeah, there. That's not a particularly useful experience there. No. Um, no, that's true. And the other thing is that this law doesn't say a linear. It doesn't actually, it, the, the, at least the version of the ISO didn't say that we had a linear relationship. No, certainly not. No, um, I, I just, I don't suggest that there is a linear relationship. What I would suggest is that Fitz's law would have to be more complex to accommodate the idea that the target is moving in response to your movements. The, the function what, what, that would Whatever form that movement takes. Law. Yeah, the function that would implement Fitz's law would have to in, incorporate the, uh, the whole scrolling mechanism. It's true. Right. And I submit that that's a harder thing to use, uh, that that makes finding I, your target more complicated than it otherwise would be. Um, maybe, I, mean, I, 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 I submit learning... this. I can't prove it. Yeah. I, I don't know. Well, no, I, th I agree that there is a learning curve there for people who haven't done this before. I don't know how bad of an experience that is. I don't, I don't, okay. I, I'd, I'd want to, I'd want to, Put it in front of like my dad or something, <laughs> so he wouldn't go here and wouldn't understand what he's looking at. Um, to uh, you know, just just get other people's opinions on it, I guess. Novices. Um, I, what I, I I'd be delighted to do that. Um, I, I what I hope is that simply offering the choice that is, Bob, you can stay on the green side if that's where you'd like to be. Yeah, that's true. And anyone who's uncomfortable with that can stay on the largely on the white side, not exclusively. Yep. Um, but can leverage the white side to get a, a, an experience that can be described by the classical version of Fitz's law. 
and when I see like next to you now you've got the frameworks down below which is running the same way except now when it's not expanded or it's completely expanded there's not a a, a, um, a, a contracted area then I definitely would be using the white no doubt about it I wouldn't be using the green but in the next oh, mean, in here yeah oh, yeah, well, yeah here yeah. it doesn't matter no, it do, exactly no it doesn't make any difference and I but if it did make a difference I would be using the white because everything I want is right there. It's not going to be changing. Right, 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 right. But your point about giving me the option with, with the expanding version, that's an excellent point. I have the option. I, I, I would probably new... be using the green a lot more. Yeah. Well, the green will do everything for you. The white yeah. is a more limited experience. That's certainly That's certainly true. I learned a new uh, phrase the other day, splitting the baby. And that is what I endeavored to do here. <laughs> it's not a very nice phrase, but it's well, I think it's, it's, it's Solomon, isn't it? <laughs> it is. It is. Yes. Yes. Um, the other thing, and I think it only shows up when it's, when it's a smaller window, but how small does the window have to be to have that web view not showing up? Because I find the web view more useful. Like I really want to see when I'm selecting between different spots, I'm, I am more interested in what the web view is because that's really what's giving me the information, right? Uh, yeah. So you, this, is as small, this is as small as you can make the overall window. Hmm. This is as small as the web view ever gets. And and Was what that kind your question? of question? Well, I guess my question is, what kind of how, how large a screen, like how big a laptop would that look like that on? Or do I, we know, like in terms? I don't of know. Pixels? Maybe yeah. Raul could comment on that. Um, yeah, I haven't I haven't explored the boundary between when when the when you get the the resizing behavior and when when you don't. I I haven't I don't know. I haven't even I haven't. I have investigated that. I can I can tell you that I, I do get it, but um, um, let me bring up my this one here to maximize it. Yeah, even when I, even when I've got my thing full screen, I always get the resizing behavior. Okay, you do. Okay, and what what size screen are you working with? Fourteen inch. Um, it, it's in, in pixels. I think it's like twelve some twelve fifty or or twelve eighty. Okay. Wide. Yeah. yeah. Um, WDQSN. Oops, that's not the right thing. Uh, I have to. I have to poke around to remember how to. <laughs> I'm not saying my pixel. Oh, there he is. 1366 wide, 768 high. Is my screen. And I think even my laptops are 1500 wide, which might be the difference. Yeah. Certainly on my big screen, which I'm looking at right now, it's uh, it, it's it, it, all I found was it's a little bit frustrating, like to click on something in navigation, and then have to slide over to see what I've actually selected, and then slide back again uh, to change it. Right? Yeah. What what I've got here, I I don't see the full web view, but I do see enough of it to see the title and okay. probably half of the page. So it's not quite as frustrating as the minimal size one. Yeah. So Bob, are you suggesting, might you be suggesting that the right thing to do would be uh, it's funny once you make it bigger, well, I guess it will go smaller. Yeah. The right else... thing to do would be when you click, the web view should expand on click. So you'd get this effect. And then you still have to go back to return to the link display. Yeah. But you don't might, have to go to the right to bring the web view up. There might be a point where you that's useful, but let, let me show you what my screen looks like. It's a little bit different. Please do. Different than what, let me share my screen here. How do I get back to the Zoom meeting? It's here and I hit share my screen. Where's my where's the share screen button? There. I don't see the share screen. Uh, bottom of the window. Uh, green. I see. Green. Ah, there it is. It's yeah. right in front of me. If I was any. Okay. And I want to share this, I think. Okay. 
So here is here's um, what I'm seeing. Yeah. You know, I get I get um, you know the page comes up. It's not the whole screen, but it's not unusable either. No, if, if I what I, I was seeing in the in the extreme small, which obviously is when it first fired up, I was just seeing really the J in the sidebar column. Right. Yeah. And and that's yeah, not really useful. But even if I see, like for instance, this example cap, that's all I need to see. Now I know this is a page I'm either looking for or not looking for. I can move over. But I think your point, Ed, about clicking on it and then having it come full screen and come back, mm -hmm. that's, well, we're not doing hover anymore. So. Yeah. Yeah. I think that works. But, Roll, I'll leave that up to you. Yeah, I, I, I like being able to preview i mean i i, I like the, I, I, I like the idea that i can look at something and, and say is this you know i don't have to decide that it's interesting before i focus on it and if i go focus right. on it then, then yeah it's there if okay. if the one other refinement that might be fun though is um let me scroll up here you see how the the left column is constant the left column of the of the web view is constant yes it's got the it's got the nav um well i'm scrolling down it that's interesting. Why I don't know. I don't know why this is scrolling down. That's 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 a new it's behavior. scrolling down because some of the links are uh, hashes labels. Ah, gotcha. Okay. Um, but I was thinking that this the the left nav everything that's constant. If that could be you know when it's in when it's in the compressed view, if that could be slid over so it's no longer visible or or you know covered over. You know if if, if I, I don't know if it's possible to put the web view behind the page or if it's possible to horizontal scroll it or that's something I have I haven't even looked at but if it, if that could be hidden and when it's in this in this mode you you see more of the content you know, this this part here isn't really interesting in, oh I see you, you just said yeah take yeah. off the sidebar yeah I, yeah I don't think I I I guess I have two reservations but they're not in any sense deal killers um the first is some of the content uh does not show the nav bar does not have nav bar pages like all of the forum posts for example right. do not have nav bars That's fair. we could we could yeah. detect that um the second reservation which is just an implementation issue is i i, I don't think that uh the window layout manager will let you overlap right so we'd have to do use a different approach for that yeah which is which we could figure something out we could you know perhaps perhaps but um, yeah, it, it save it for for when it's <laughs> the the remaining top priority, I guess. Right. The other possibility would be to force the web view to scroll horizontally, which I also don't know how to do. But that would be something that might work. Um, I see a horizontal scroll window at the bottom of the web view there on raw screen. Well, that's this? interesting. I wonder if I can drive it. <laughs> well, not, not, well, the thing is, when you go over, it's full screen, right? Yeah, so so that you, it works against you, but you can see that it's there. It's there, but you can't touch it. Well, as soon as you go over there, it's just full screen. <laughs> That's right. I see somebody being frustrated. Oh, you want to scroll? I can do better than that. 